What's up YouTube? KK Jinx here playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today we are going to get all three rubber armor pieces. But before we dive in, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to punch that bell square in the face to get notified about future content. Okay, now that you've finished with that, let's get right into it. Okay, so I am actually right here on top of Faron Tower. And where I want to go to activate this side quest, which this side quest comes with the Shock Resistance Helm. So I'm going to go just southeast of Faron Tower and I will see you there. All right. So I want to... Come to the Lakeside Stable, which, as you can see on the map now, is right here. And this little opening, you can follow this bridge along. I want to go talk to Simma over here by the horses. Oh dear, oh dear, lightning strikes the stable so often, I get nervous whenever it rains even a little. I just don't understand why it strikes so often. Hey, it's a long shot, but if you have some time, could you find out why? Leave it to me. You will? Really? I'm so happy. I'm counting on you. All right. This is simple, guys. This is Thunder Magnet side quest. Get to the top of the uh, stable, however you need to. I'm just going to use Revali's Gale. And as you see, there is a woodcutter's axe acting as a conductor for lightning. So just get it right off the roof. You can put it in your inventory if you want. But I'm not going to worry about it. So, just come back over here. Talk to Simma. What? You found out what was drawing the lightning here? Yes, it was a metal axe. Aha, yeah. That's as good as the lightning rod, isn't it? I wonder if someone put it up there on purpose. How strange. Thanks for looking into it for me. Here's something for your trouble. Here's the rubber helm. A helmet made from ancient techniques and electricity-resistant material. It's made from something called rubber, a material that can no longer be found. I can finally relax. All right, guys, that's Thunder Magnet complete already. And now you are the proud owner of the Shock Resistance Helm. Okay, so for the second piece of armor, we actually need to come up here to this spot here. I'm going to go ahead and mark this. I'm just going to follow this bridge right over because that's where I want to go. I'll meet you there. Okay, so now I'm at the top, and I tell you, it was not easy to get up here. I had to switch my stuff back and forth and use the waterfall and all the other things. Yeah, the, the lightning's going to happen to you no matter what. All right, so Cass is down here. Let's go activate this side quest. And to show you on the map, we are just right here. I know that wasn't very specific. I'm sorry. Very impressive. Not many could make it up here in such rain. I'd expect no less from a well-worn traveler like yourself. Me? I stay nice and dry. My feathers repel the rain rather well. My instrument was designed to withstand extreme moisture. When your livelihood revolves around ancient songs, you've got to be prepared for a few raindrops. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Sure, why not? Excellent, without further ado. When a lost hero caused down lightning from the sky. A monk responds from a giant mound on high. There 
there's a puzzle in it somewhere, but as far as I can tell, it could apply to a many great things. Anyway, may the light shine ever on your path. Song of Storms Shrine Quest, now active. So, the fun part is getting back up there. From back here, it's fairly easy. Um, as far as climbing goes. It's a little bit tricky. I find that it's easier to climb up this if you've got your stuff on. Because you can go one, two, three, four, and then hop and make it. And then there's a ledge here. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand right here in the middle. I'm going to drop a weapon, a metal weapon, and I'm going to get it out of dodge. Because it is going to conduct electricity. There it goes. Took it a little while, but we got it. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Kuka Nata Shrine. Not even correct. I don't even need this actually. This can stay here. Let's go inside. Kuka Nata's Blessing. I know I'm not pronouncing it right. I'm sorry. Rubber tights. Shock resistance. These invaluable tights are resistant to electricity. They're made with something called rubber, an ancient technology that no longer exists in this modern age. And that's it. That's that whole shrine, guys. The whole shrine quest. Complete. Today, we are doing the Thunder Plateau. As you can see, we are right here on the Ridgeland Tower. And the Thunder, Thundra Plateau is right here. And that's where we want to make our way. We're going to have four spirit orbs that we're going to need to put in these places on this plateau. And you will see why it is a puzzle when we get down there. So let's head down. Thundra Plateau. So, Octorots are a thing that we are going to have to deal with. And you can see there's three of them right there. So, let's go ahead and take care of those first. Right, now that's taken care of. So, we have four different colored spirit orbs that we need to get up onto that plateau. We've got a red one here. An orange one over there. And a green one over there. Now, first things first, let's get this one off of there. So, we're going to go ahead and stasis it. Shoot it. I'm pretty sure this one's stronger. Shoot it, like, two or three times, maybe. There we go. Some of them arrows back, too. So, we're going to carry this red orb... Or pink, or whatever you want to call it. And we want to carry it around this way. We want to be basically up where the orange one is. So if you're not sure where to go next, just go towards the orange orb. We're going to come on up here, and you see there's like some stone bricks. The ones at the very top here, if you place the orb right there in the crack of it, it lines up perfectly with that pillar. And we are going to stasis the ball, and we are going to hit it so that it hits right into that pillar. 
Alright, so we made it up there. So now we need the orange one. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna stasis it. Shoot it two or three times. Go grab it. And then rinse and repeat. Oh, look, my arrows. We're going to put it back into that same spot. We're going to do the exact same thing. Both of those are up there where I like to come over to this spot over here where it's a little bit broken because I can get up from there. You can see where the orbs landed. So the orange one goes to the orange spot, even though it looks a little bit yellow, it's still orange. Make sure that it goes into the hole. The purple one goes into the purple. Then we're gonna grab the red one. Put it in the red spot. And now the green one is up there. Be careful, as you can see, there is a sword there. That will get struck by lightning. You can either grab it or ignore it. But I'm going to come back here. And there's like this little platform thing. You can stand on it and... Uh-oh. What now? It's always something, isn't it? So, anyway. We're going to stasis it. And shoot it. And that one must have been a slam dunk. All four are in their homes. And here comes the shrine. So, still stay away from that, and we are going to come into the Toyasa Shrine. This is Buried Secrets. So, we're gonna use remote bombs primarily in here, pretty much. So, first we expose this metal box. Come down here, right behind the metal box is going to be another thing that we need to break open because that's where our chest is hiding. And drum roll, please. It is the rubber armor. This armor has built in electricity resistance thanks to its source material, an ancient marble, marvel called a rubber. Such technology does not exist in this modern age. Crazy, right? All right, now, first, we're going to grab this metal block and we're going to 
come over here because this is where the other chest is. We're going to use it to just uh, knock it down. And then we can go ahead and set that there. Oh, look, you can do this. So just shove your way in there. And we got an opal. All right, first we want to clear these blow up walls, blocks, whatever you want to call them out of the way. Because there is a gigantic switch. So first, we are going to put this in a position that allows us to jump up on it. Once we come up this ladder, we're going to have to place a square bomb to clear this area. Before you go all the way up, we're going to turn around, grab our magnesis, grab this block, whip it around, and place it right on that switch. And voila! If we look at our map next to the name, we can see the treasure symbol, so we know that we have all the chests in this shrine, and we can go check out. All right, boys and girls, that concludes the Thundra Plateau. And that's all three armor pieces. Thanks so much for watching. And with that, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to punch that bell right in the face with your fist. Thanks for watching.